Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Galaxy Link. In this video, I am going to show you how to refill a gas for single door refrigerator. This is our third part of our video. In the first and second part, I had shown you how to identify a choking problem using pressure gauge. And in the second part, I had shown you how to fix that choking problem. If you are not watching that video, I will give link in the description. So watch it from there. After that, you can watch this part 3 of our video. So let's begin our today's video. Friends, before gas charging, make sure that all the joints are clearly joined. After that, we can charge the gas through this pin wall. Friends, while basing this pin wall, we are removing the pin of its tip. Otherwise, its rubber will melt. So for that, we are removing that. So now we have to put back to this pin wall while gas charging. Now I am going to rotate this using the cap. Like this, we have to rotate tightly. After that, we can start our gas charging process. Friends, friends, before gas charging, we have to do vacuum process using the another compressor. So here you can see. To fill this gas, this is the R134A refrigerant. You can here you can see. Now I am going to refill this. Friends, here you can see the compressor details. Then here you can see in this sticker they are mentioned the refrigerant and how much gram of refrigerant we have to fill. Friends, here you can see back to the process. We have to fill this gas to that compressor. While using this compressor we have to do vacuum process. So now I connected the pipe to this suction line of this compressor. It will suck from here. Then it will throw it throw the air from the discharge line. So here you can see the gauge. Now I am going to turn on the compressor. In the gauge you can see now it is at zero point then after vacuum process it will come down till the vacuum pressure till 20 it will come friends now we are ready for the vacuum process using this compressor now i am going to turn on this compressor let's plug in the gauge you can see now it is at zero point now i turn it on the compressor here you can see how the gauge will go to the vacuum pressure you have to kept around 10 to 15 minutes for vacuum process it will suck all the air inside that compressor here you can see it will come down till 20 Friends, after 15 minutes of vacuum process, we have to check the gauge and turn off of the valve. After turning off the valve, here you can see the gauge should stand there only. It should not move up. If it is moving upside means there is a leakage in our fridge. It means our system has a leak. So if in that case we have to recheck all our joints and rebrace it. After that recheck using this vacuum process. Friends, after vacuum process, we have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes to see the gauge is standing there only or it will move upside. In my case, our gauge is standing there only. There is no leakage in our system. It is the confirmation that there is a no leak. After that, you have to remove the external compressor connection and you have to add the anti-moisture according to the atmospheric condition. After adding that anti-moisture, you have to connect to, to the gas. So now I am going to fill this anti-moisture in this pipe. Friends here you can see I already filled the anti-moisture to this pipe. After filling that we have to connect it to the our r 134 gas. Friends I connected the gas. 
after that we have to turn on the valve of our gas We have to turn on fully. Wait a minute, there is some leakage, so I am going to tight that. Now we have to fully turn on the gas gauge. Then you have to kept upside down because this gas contains the liquid also. For that reason, we have to kept upside down like this so friends before turning on the gauge valve we have to release some air like this because the that pipe contains some outside air for that reason we have to release some air from that gap so now I am going to release the gas now our compressor is not turned on we can release some gas to that compressor Friends, I kept like this. Here you can see. We can release some gas to that compressor. After that, we have to turn on the fridge. Turn on that compressor. So now I am going to turning on. Friends, now our compressor is running. Here you can see gauge is going downside. Like this, slowly we have to release some gas. If you give continuous gas means it will affect our compressor. For that reason, we have to slowly give small small amount of gas to that compressor. It will slowly moving upside. We have to give some gap to, to that process. Friends, here you can see how I am releasing the gas to that compressor. It will slowly moving upside to the condenser evaporator. Then it is then it is coming back to the compressor. Now our gauge is in vacuum pressure itself. We have to fill around. 10 to 15 psi friends for R134A refrigerant we are charging around 10 to 15 psi according to our cooling process then for R600A compressor we are charging around 0 to 1 psi so now our compressor is R134A refrigerant for that we are charging around 10 to 15 psi according to our cooling performance of the refrigerator now it is in vacuum pressure itself we have to give some more gas to this compressor friends now our condenser is slightly heated up it should heat more if our outside condenser is heated up means our cooling process is happening inside we have to fill around 10 psi let's give some more gas to this compressor friends here you can see now I charged the gas around 8-9 psi now our outside condenser is heated up discharge line is heated up Now I am releasing some gas. Normally it is around 10 to 15 psi. Now around 8-9 psi our refrigerator is heated up perfectly. Our cooling is also happening. Here you can see now our gauge is not moving upside and downside. Before the choking was there in that process 
it is the gauge is moving upside and downside continuously the our cooling process is also varying now here you can see there is no variation in the gauge now it is perfectly standing in the running pressure here you can see in the, it is indicating that there is no choking in this refrigerator so our choking problem is solved in this fridge now our cooling process is happening now i'm going to check yes friends now our fridge is cooled perfectly here you can see the ice formation one more time i'm going to show you yes here you can see the ice formation so this fridge is completely repaired so if you like this video please like share and subscribe our youtube channel now our fridge is running in perfect manner our outside coil is also heating up friends after completion of our gas charging we have to turn off this gas valve here you can see now it is around 10 ps itself now i am going to turn off the refrigerator friends after turning off the gauge is moving upside now i am going to remove the pipe from the compressor after that here you can check whether it is it has some leak in there or not sometimes the pin valve has also leak in that for that reason we have to give some soft solution for that and check whether it has a leak or not after the confirmation of that there is a no leakage you can put this cap to that pin valve so friends this is all about my video if you like this video please like share and subscribe our youtube channel thank you for watching See you in next video.